Jasmine here with three of the coolest cats I know from fun. Hey guys. Hi. Just before you guys came through, I was watching some nights and I love, love, love that video. Um, tell me about how you guys came up with that song and just why you decided to go that direction with the video. It actually started with Nate talking about a lot of hip hop videos, having this like intense angle. Yeah. Where it like feels like you're kinda like getting like beaten on a little bit. Yeah. And that that's what led us to Anthony Mandler, who made some of the best hip hop videos. Like he did uh, most probably all the Jay Z videos, right? Mm. He did a Run This deal. Town. He did just the big epic ones. Yeah, yeah. He does. He just does some unbelievable video work, and he just talked about how the song is is one of the lyrics is war. One of the lyrics is what what do I stand for? Mm -hmm. And um, and I didn't understand his. I'm not very metaphoric. Okay. I'm the slowest one out of all of us. <laughs> um, but Andrew understood it like right away. Okay. After it was relayed to him, he was like, Oh yeah. All I heard was. Civil War, and I was like, oh, that's cool, that's cool. <laughs> okay. yeah, well, Anthony's idea was to take, this. the song is about wondering who you are, wondering what you stand yes. for. And his idea was to juxtapose that against a war setting where you know what you stand for, and it's very clear, and it's and you believe so strongly that you're willing to, to kill or to die for this cause. So yeah. a song where you don't know and a video where you do, it, with such intense imagery, uh, it resonated with us right away. So have you guys chosen a next single yet for off the album? I don't know if we can talk about it. I don't think we can talk I don't about think, it. The answer is, sorry, yes. Yes, you have, but you cannot talk about it. Yeah, it's better like it's better to make things it. mysteries and then throw something. We're still like we're still really high on some nights. Yeah, I can I hear that. But do you guys have do you guys have the ultimate say on what the next single is going to be, or is that the kind of thing where you see the fans are responding to? Or is that a label situation? I think I think it's a mixture of, of all three things. I think that one of the one of the best parts about making this album is that. Um, that we were willing to actually listen to what people had to say, whether it was our fans or whether it was our record label or whether it was our friends or yeah. family. Yeah. I think we 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 uh, we kind of unplugged our ears for a second, and it's nice it's nice to just hear what other people have to say because I, th I think that um, I think that's something it's a life lesson that that we only learned on this album. Stephen Colbert actually extended a really cool invitation to you to you guys. Tell me what that is and how he even did that. It's we're crazy. gonna play we're gonna play his festival. Yes. It's a name we can't. Pronounce the Step Fest Cold. Yeah, you might have Coachella? it. I don't know. Yeah, it's like Steve Fest Cold Cella Rock Togus Fest. Is that it? <laughs> it's yes. the kind of thing he would have come up with. That's right. Yeah. How did you guys get looped into that? Um, we, you know, we've just <laughs> been playing every single festival, and that was a big one for us. Yeah. Um, and someone told us he was a fan, which is, which Pretty we're awesome. excited to see if that's the truth.